But soon, at least some corporations and governments will be able to systematically hack all the people. We humans should get used to the idea that we are no longer mysterious souls. We are now hackable animals. The future of mind control, and the future being right now, because uh, these experiments are being done, is using gene editing tools. I can create small robotic units at the nanoscale, can directly diffuse into the brain space, but their presence is almost impossible to detect. This amount of nanomaterial could, in fact, affect all of you. Read from the living brain and write into the living brain. There's a mysterious direct energy weapon that is being used, and it is causing permanent traumatic brain injury. We have to get more information, and we got to tell the public what's going on. The government has to acknowledge that this is happening to civilians. It's almost that science fact seems stranger than fiction. We can send instructions and information to an actual person from a distance with this kind of technology to let another person control their actions. But that could be something that could be malicious. Uh, the Army had it on their website called V2K. It's not just uh, a very disturbing high-pitched noise, but there might even be voices or a message, a continual message that people have been victimized by. But if you cognitively model someone, you have a brain print, like a fingerprint, functional MRI that you can do at a distance over the earth, you have every human being's brain pattern. You can control 8 billion brains on the planet, potentially read them. It's worldwide.